Excellent. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Right, let's pop into the shed. Good Lord. Hello. What are you doing in the shed? Hello. How are you, mate? You I'm all right? Fine, yeah. yeah. What's that? Ah, well, this is uh, Blaster Tone, Triple O Three. That's marvellous. Oh, let's go and have a chat about it. Come on. <laughs> Pete. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you again. All sir. the way from Spain. Well, yes. I don't special know how you, request. Special request. It's <laughs> fantastic. And you brought these bad boys with you as well. Yes. Well, you uh, thought you might be interested. So. I absolutely am. Uh, I'm a keen amateur musician, um, but I've never thought about making my own instrument. Oh, okay. What What have you made here? Well, uh, on the left there, we've got a cigar box guitar, but. Um, it's my own design, it's interpretation of, and it's uh, the Blaster Tone. The Blaster Tone. Blaster Tone. 003, the first prototype. Um, yeah. Yes, well, cigar box guitars are, go back to the early, uh, well, early 20th century probably in the States, where people made their own instruments because they couldn't afford to buy what was available. So, cigar box was the soundboard. Um, but this is an electric, so it doesn't really need the cigar box, it could be solid. So you've got some pickups here then. Uh, it is electric, yeah. Yes, and it so looks yeah. like you've got a solar panel on the front it of it here has, as well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we haven't got yeah. enough sun today. No, to, well, we're to, not to in to Spain justice, today, are we? Oh, <laughs> indeed, indeed, we aren't. No. no. And then we've got some controls on the back of it here yes, as well. That's so. it. Yeah, and um, here we have a speaker for it. So it's uh, actually um, self contained. So, um, yeah. Okay. That sounds amazing as well, mate. We'll, we'll do that. Look at that. He's got feedback. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful sound. <laughs> okay. We'll play. We'll play it in a in a, in a bit. Actually, um, that should be really good fun. Uh, maybe we can try and make some music or something. Well. Um, but so, give us a quick, uh, a, a bit of a quick heads up then. Um, how did you, what inspired you to make this? Oh, a few years ago, a friend visited and he brought with him uh, his first cigar box guitar. Okay. And uh, we had a little play with it. And then when he went home, he left it with me saying, well, now this is for you. So, uh, wow. so I had one and I didn't really do much with it. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. fretted. Yeah. Um, and then sometime later, I thought, well, I could do something with that. Let's see if I can put the frets on. So I had to put the frets on it. Um, and since then, I've made a couple more. Um, this, as, as you can see, is 003. Uh, I was told so to is, number them. This is serial uh, number three. Okay. In the future, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Um, um, but I decided um, one thing you couldn't get is ones with. Uh, speakers in them. The Japanese did some toy guitars many years ago back yeah. in the 60s and 70s with speakers in them. And I thought well for the busker you don't want to be carrying around a little amplifier and so could you do it all in one and well hopefully I've you on the way to doing that. I, I would say you've nailed it. That's 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 fantastic. So this is a genuine cigar box. Yeah, yeah made in Honduras. <laughs> oh, right. Fantastic, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so you've got a solar panel on the front, some batteries on the back of it here yeah. by the looks of things, yeah. yeah and so uh, some controls on the top. What sort of controls are they? Well, this, this is what came with the, the battery amp I bought and uh, took apart to put into this. So it's, um, you know, on and then with the overdrive. There's a tone control that sort of works, um, sort of. And obviously a volume control. Um, and basically, it's tuned to G, D, G as uh, the traditional uh, three string, sometimes they're four string, but there's no rule, so you can have whatever tuning you like, uh, and however many strings you want. So uh, can, can you bar G, D, G then? Yeah, like it's basically a power chord. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so it's just yeah. G. So you can have a... a, a, a C and D. You can have a, a, a slide, uh, a slide, oh, uh, yes, a, a bottle slide, or yes, something I like do that. Slide, yeah, slide. Although yeah. the action's a bit low on this yeah, one for okay. that. So, yeah. And then, how did you make the neck on this? Um, well, this oak 
and it's from a B and Q a staircase spindle. Is it? Which is uh, forty one mil square, so I've had to shape it out. Um, <laughs> Um, do the headstock and glue that on and Gorilla Glue. Um, Gorilla Glue, yeah, it seems it, to be, well, yeah, I've, I recently <laughs> found Gorilla Glue, it is quite good. Now, um, so, so have you got your own workshop at home then? Um, yes and no. It's a limited, well, this is, it sounds like yeah. a lounge workshop or... It, well, it's a, yeah. it's a spare bedroom. Spare bedroom workshop, okay, yep, yep. Taken over, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh... Uh, some of the heavier work does gets done outside, and uh, the messy stuff done outside. And, and you know, a million questions coming into my head at the moment. We, we've, I'm assuming you've bought machine heads for this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but the, the the question, the real question is is when you designed and made this neck for it, how um, how did you get the spacing right, and 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 what are the uh, what are you using for? Uh, the um, fret markers. The fret markers. Wow, well, the yeah. fret markers here. Are this and this one are drawing pins. Drawing I, pins, fantastic. I yeah. And I thought, well, they got that pearlescent sort of white colour to them. Well, they look absolutely right. right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they look fantastic. Okay. Yeah. I'll use that in future ones. As well. <laughs> um, uh, the space, the fret spacing. Basically, once you've decided what the scale length is, and it's basically the same. It's a standard electric guitar scale length. It's not shortened. Okay. Okay. What is shortened is the amount of. Uh, body here yeah, and the yeah. length of the headstock and what yeah, yeah. Um, and it's, uh, it's about 650 millimetres um, you put that into a website it's got a bit of JavaScript running on it and it tells you where each of the frets needs to be and then you try and do it as carefully as possible and position them um, as best you can so yeah. and, and then the pickup um is, is this something that, that that you've made or is this uh can you buy a three uh yeah a three string yeah pickup? you can buy yeah. these they're yeah. they're available on auction yeah. websites and <laughs> okay okay yeah okay okay yeah yeah great the far east. And, I, and i noticed that you've got a couple of other um little function or some some functionality there's yeah, some yeah, well, sockets there's, on there's here a, yeah. an Im auxiliary input okay so i can plug in a, a an mp3 player Okay, so um, yeah, for backing tracks and for that backing kind of tracks, stuff. Yeah, so it's yeah. all self-contained. Yeah. And here's a, a headphone socket, so I can play without annoying everyone. <laughs> yeah, doing my songs without annoying everyone. So. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, well, all the bits are available. It's uh, just a matter of yeah, employing them in the, in the right sort of place. So, how how long did it take you to to put all of this together? Uh, well, I I don't know. I mean, in terms of elapsed time, this was probably done over a five month period okay yeah um, yeah i yeah. got uh, i had to come back to the uk for three months with my mother was at it ill and so i was a bit stuck for what to do and a friend gave me a box he had spare and so i thought oh well i'll make make one so i got quite a bit of it done in yeah. the first three months and then yeah. finished it off when I got home. That's uh, It is absolutely beautiful, Pete. Yeah, really, really nice. So, Blaster Tone by Lloydie. Yes. Yeah, yes, indeed. And actually, Pete has uh, uh, his own YouTube channel as well, so we'll obviously make sure that we pop some uh, some links down below so that you can uh, uh, pop onto Pete's site. And in fact, Pete uh, uh, occasionally plays a few tunes, um, well, yeah. and, and to me, they sound very good, so I'm sure you'll all agree. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Then there's something else here which has sort of caught my eye as well what well, have we got here then well yeah i've i've always fancied having a, a mandolin um and i didn't know what troubles i'd have going from three strings up to eight strings so i made the neck probably a bit stronger than it really needed to be there doesn't seem to be much in the way of uh, bending on the neck because it's that much shorter um and this one was designed so that the overall length would go in hand luggage uh, okay. so that I can bring it backwards and forwards from Spain to the UK. Uh, this one here, the neck is bolted on so I can do the same, so it's yes. all hand luggage. So you can, un you can actually take the neck off of, um, of this device then, there's a screw, okay yeah I see there's a screw here so you can pop the neck off of this, yeah, disconnect kind of the neck. In, yeah. In, yeah. Under the, under okay the so it's an Ikea. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah bits, bits of Ikea. You can actually get these free from Ikea. You can, there's, there's, you can get the bolts and the bell nuts free from Ikea because they got a spares section if you go in there. So. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so um, yeah, an eight-string mandolin. Yeah. yeah. Go on.
fantastic. What a sound as well, it sounds lovely. And, it, and this cigar box, where's this from then? Uh, this is Cuba. Okay, is, yes. genuine, genuine Cuban. Yeah, yeah. May 19, uh, 2014 it says, yeah. on there. Yeah. I, think, I think that's um, highly illegal in America just for any Americans who might be watching. <laughs> I don't know, that may have changed. Now, <laughs> I don't changed. know, but, uh, <laughs> but it's nice to try and keep the labels on yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the, the logos and uh, the resonators are... Uh, dog bowl or hamster bowl uh, <laughs> inverted and, but you can buy the uh, the, the 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 bridge and the, the uh, all, all the bits and pieces that you need so it's uh, uh, you don't have to uh, uh, take apart a mandolin just to make a to make a, a, a cigar, cigar box one. mandolin yeah <laughs> that's got a lovely sound to it yeah That's um, uh, the the frets on this are, are quite close together, aren't they? Yeah. So it looks like it's a, a, a bit more difficult, perhaps, to play than, uh, say, for it, instance, it was, the, the three. The well, three yeah. String, it uh, takes a bit of getting used to. Because yeah. when I first started playing this, I played it a lot, obviously, because yeah. yeah. it was something new. When I went back to that that one, it was like playing a bass guitar. Yeah, you know, the exactly. Frets yeah, were, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Huge <laughs> in comparison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's this called then? This is a oh, it's mando tone. A mando tone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's absolutely beautiful, Pete. That's beautiful. Triple O five, this one. Triple O five. So, so how many of these have, have you made now then in total? Oh, it's um, it's probably round about the four, four or five mark. It's, yeah. Okay. Some okay. of the numbers haven't actually been finished. So right. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Understood. Yeah. I don't know how it is. Yeah. Uh, Pete, you're going to give us a bit of a demo then of um, of how this system works. What have you got in your hand? I've got uh, one of the very early iPods. Yes, you have a nice early <laughs> Apple. Is that the 20 gig version? No, or it's the, the uh, 60. 60 gig version. Yeah, How cool yeah, is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you've plugged that into um, an, a spare input here then on your guitar? Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, let's see if we can get it working. Need to get volumes balanced. Balance, 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 balance the volumes. So this is a backing track, so hopefully we won't get any copyright strikes. <laughs> Go for it. I tell you what, that sounds absolutely <laughs> fabulous, and it made me want to sing. Brilliant! Oh. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear me sing, but, oh, but yeah, me brilliant! <laughs> absolutely awesome, mate! What a marvelous piece of kit! Thank brilliant you. work! Brilliant work! Pete Lloyd. <laughs>